Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to discuss how you can increase semen and sperm volume at any age. And this is a topic I've been asked a lot, so I thought I'd make a detailed video about it. And today I'll reveal actually what controls semen volume, uh, what causes it to actually decrease, and obviously how to increase it naturally as well as with drugs. And this all started from a question from a viewer and it starts off like this. Hi, Dr. Sam. Over the years, I've noticed my semen volume has decreased. I honestly just feel less manly. Does this mean I have less sperm or less testosterone? Am I less fertile? How come porn guys can have so much volume? How can I increase my volume? All right, so lots of questions. So I thought I'd address each one of them individually. Let's first talk about semen volume. First of all, this varies greatly from person to person, from as little as 0.5 ml to as much as 8 ml, and that's a big difference. Now, the average volume is between 3 to 5 ml, and keep in mind that 5 ml is about a full teaspoon, not a tablespoon. Next topic is sperm and semen volume. Now, most people uh, think that the more sperm you have, the more semen volume, but that's not true. Only about two to a maximum of 5% of your ejaculate is actually sperm. Even if you have, you know, millions and billions of tiny little sperm, right? They're microscopic. They don't take up much space. This is why uh, when a man gets a vasectomy and thus sperm does not enter into the ejaculation, they see like no difference in semen volume. Next question is about ejaculation volume and fertility. Now, people, both men and women, also think that the more ejaculation volume, that the more fertile the guy is. Generally speaking, the volume is not related to fertility. Again, remember, your semen volume is only about two to 5% sperm, so it's tiny amounts. However, I do believe that if you see a decrease over the years in volume, then yes, something isn't working as well as it used to. And more on this in a minute and how to improve and fix it. Next one is semen volume and aging. Unfortunately, the older we get, the less semen volume as well as the quality of sperm. You tend to peak in your mid-30s, and then the lowest point starts in your at, at age 55 years and older. Ironically, in your mid-30s is also when you start to see major negative changes in your hormones, such as a decrease in uh, total and free testosterone levels, LH and FSH levels, while an increase in DHT and the female and stress hormones. Thus, part of the reason uh, for the semen volume decreasing are the negative changes in your hormones due to aging. For example, guys who take steroids, all right, they're taking, you know, different steroids. These people produce much less sperm since their testicles actually stop working and then will shrink because of the steroid use, because of the exogenous uh, testosterone. However, they will also have lower semen volume on a steroid cycle than before they ever started. In fact, many long-term steroid users will have permanently shrunken testicles, less semen volume, and of course, less sperm production. This also includes what's in mode these days, which is TRT and HRT, testosterone replacement therapy and hormone replacement therapy. Again, it keeps coming back to hormones and what your body produces naturally from within, which is called endogenously. Luckily, this can all be greatly reversed and improved at any age naturally, and I'll get to more on that in a minute. Okay, so now that we know more about you know the, the semen volume and the causes and all these issues, let's talk about how to increase your semen volume and your sperm count. All right, let's first discuss natural ways that you can implement right away, and we'll also discuss drugs in a minute. Let's first discuss the natural ways. One of them is to de decrease the ejaculation frequency. All right, basically just not have an orgasm for you know a few days because then it starts to build up. Unfortunately, this buildup can also cause a guy to get overly excited and have premature ejaculation when he's going to have sex and basically not last very long. 
personally, I think this is much worse, having premature ejaculation, than having a slight increase in semen volume by decreasing the frequency. So it's up to you. I'll let you make that decision. Another thing is hydration. Most people are dehydrated, especially if they're consuming lots of stimulants that contain, you know, uh, coffee or caffeine and pre-workout drinks, energy drinks and all that stuff because the caffeine acts as a diuretic. And yes, this also includes alcohol, which is also a diuretic. Considering semen is a liquid, staying hydrated can have a positive impact on your ejaculation size. So drink more water, especially if you are going to have sex maybe a couple hours before. There's also specific foods. Now, keep something in mind. This, again, is a hormone-related problem, and thus we need to improve your sex and steroid hormones. Foods high in zinc is really important, and one of the best uh, foods high in zinc are oysters, which I personally hate the taste of. And you would need to eat this daily to get the good amount of uh, zinc, which is about four to six medium-sized oysters daily to get the positive effects, which I'm sure most people will not do daily. So, of course, you know, this is the point where I would suggest, you know what, just take a zinc supplement. And I made a specific video about this popular topic, the best forms, the dosages, what to avoid, the combinations and so forth. And I put a direct link to that zinc video below this one in the description area so you can check it out. Another topic we need to improve on is stress. Keep in mind that when stress levels go up, testosterone levels and sperm production goes down. Basically, your body and nature does not want you to go and have babies and have sex during times of stress. But let's face it, we live in very stressful times. We work long hours, we don't sleep well, we eat a lot of processed foods, and we either don't exercise at all or some of us exercise too much, too often, and too hard. This doesn't even take into account all the emotional stress and having to do a million things every day and getting pulled into all these different directions, which obviously is very stressful. So you do need to manage your stress levels, however you want to do it, or at least take some vitamins that help lower these negative stress hormones to help optimize your testosterone levels, your FSH and LH, to help produce healthy sperm and higher volume of ejaculate. Again, more details about lowering stress hormones below this video in the description area. And finally, we can talk about natural ways with supplements as well as drugs, all right? Because these are important ways that will help increase uh, semen volume, sperm, and improve hormones. Let's start with the supplements first because most people have access to these and it's obviously much safer than taking drugs. The thing I love about supplements is that, again, they're just easy and convenient and everyone can do it unlike, you know, the food changes and lifestyle changes and so forth. So at least it's a good start. What I do not like about supplements is that most of them are garbage. They, the, the companies produce the wrong ingredients, it's cheap, they use the wrong dosages, and this is why 98% of them don't work. So with that said, let's get into the ones that do work. First of all, for vitamins and minerals, zinc, as I mentioned earlier, is very important. Vitamin D3 and selenium are all very important and they have all been clinically verified to work, which is fantastic. Additionally, there are specific herbal supplements. Bulgarian Pro Tribulus uh, Terrestrious Extract, you have to get the right dosage and extract. It's, that's, that's the most important part. Stinging Nettle Extract, again, you want 95%. Ginger Extract, at least five to 10%. And Maca Root, which you've heard again, always taking the extract. Now, these herbal extracts are actually proven to help support LH and FSH levels, thus increasing semen volume, sperm production, and testosterone. Of course, your only goal isn't to increase LH, FSH, and testosterone levels. You want to also decrease the negative hormones caused by aging, such as the female hormones, as well as stress hormones. Now, there are other herbs and, and minerals and that you should also be taking that also, if you know, will help improve erections and your drive and libido in an all-in-one solution that I personally take called Alpha Viral. And some porn star guys also take, again, more links about this below in the description area. And finally, the last topic is drugs. And I mentioned porn stars earlier is because I've had uh, many adult film guys or gals as clients over the years, especially in my younger days when I lived near the 
quote unquote porn capital of the world, which was the Valley in Southern California. This was like Chatsworth and Van Nuys and so forth. Now, I would remember running into the guys at the gym and then when someone would find out eventually that like I'm a hormone doctor and I also work out and all that stuff, they invariably start asking me questions and then referrals and all that stuff. And as with everything, the guys would typically ask the same questions. Basically, how do I get and maintain an erection? Um, they wanted to, first of all, know how to do this naturally, not with drugs and injections and all that. Also, how do I increase, again, my semen volume for my quote-unquote money shots or how they can shoot farther rather than quote-unquote just dribble out, again, for that money shot. And then, of course, we also spoke about how to make the penis bigger and thicker, but I will leave that topic for another day. Comment below this video if you're interested about penis growth tips. If not, I won't make any videos. If you are, I will. So anyway, back in the late 90s and the early 2000s, I would suggest short-term use of a drug called HCG. You may have heard of it, which when you take this drug, it's an injection, tells your body and your testicles to produce more LH and FSH levels and thus also more testosterone. Now, the good thing is this actually can temporarily increase your semen volume, your sperm production, as well as the size of your testicles. Your testicles actually grow. And this is the exact opposite of what happens when you take testosterone shots. You see, the HCG tells your body to do it internally, okay, which is good, that testosterone shots happens externally, which is bad. And this is one of the reasons why Alpha Vera works so well. It's telling your body to naturally increase these hormones internally so you get all the benefits without the side effects. Again, internal is endogenous, external is exogenous. The more natural, the better. Unfortunately, the problem with taking HCG, as with every drug, there's going to be a problem. You also will produce much more estrogen, other female hormones, which can quickly cause gynecomastia or man boobs. And if you already have this, well, then forget it. Yours is going to just turn into a small little breast. So now you also need to take estrogen inhibitors when you take HCG or estrogen blockers, which can unfortunately cause the exact opposite and decrease your sex drive when taken at the wrong dose. It gets complicated. This is why you need a specific protocol for your body type after doing an extensive hormone blood test first. And of course, having a knowledgeable doctor, which these days they barely exist. But if this is your profession, like the porn guys, then you'll do what needs to be done. However, these porn guys don't take HCG as much because of these issues and will simply take various herbs that I mentioned earlier and all the ones that are found in alpha viral. Again, especially if, you know, for older guys in their 30s. Again, more details below this video in the description area. So there you have it. You know, let's quickly summarize what we've learned today. Sperm only makes up 2 to 5% of your semen volume, so it's not representative of your fertility levels or anything. Semen volume does go down with age due to negative changes in your hormones. You can also increase your semen volume and sperm production by optimizing and balancing your hormones to your youthful levels. As with always, when you watch this video or any video by anyone, don't just listen. Take action so you can get the results and improve your life and feel more confident and get healthier. Now, please post your questions about today's video. First of all, what did you learn? What did you like? What type of more information do you want in the future so I can make these videos for you? Again, this channel is all for you. If you are interested in the penis growth topic, again, a lot of guys are a lot of guys. Please post your comments and questions below so I can make a specific video about you know, the penis growth topic. Now, if this video was helpful, honestly, help me out, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone, subscribe and click that notification icon so you'll be notified when similar videos are released. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I'm wishing you a very happy and healthy day.